Cooker's Homestead video blog, take three. There's Camille. Okay, this is, is October 27th, coming up on the end of October, and we are going to rack the different kinds of wine that we made. We have the Niagara grape wine there, and the plum wine here. And racking is basically um, to remove the sediment. So with this um, auto siphon here, and the hose. We're gonna siphon the wine from the taller uh, full carboy here into an empty one. And the goal is to leave the sediment at the bottom for clarification purposes. We bought this auto siphon at a brew store. It was eight dollars. Um, I think that it is way worth it rather than trying to get the suction going on your own. Um, Basically, you lift it upside down to pump it. And get some suction going. This siphon also has a mini screen, um, so it's going to sort of screen out some of the sediment before it even makes it into the second carboy. It's really nice. And it's working. After we do this um, today, we're going to take the um, other wines, the Pinot Noir wine and the Gewürztraminer wine and the hard apple cider, and we are going to move it into the other empty carboys. So basically with this process, we are moving the current, currently carboyed wine into another carboy, then we have to wash the dirty carboys and add the other wine into those. So we're playing musical carboy today. It's our project of the day <laughs> with our little home uh, brewery going on here this is the spare bedroom in my house and this is what it looks like now luckily uh, we have this space the wine here after we rack it the second time has to sit for another couple weeks and then we will bottle it and then we plan on um, boxing it carefully, cork corking it obviously, boxing it carefully, and then storing it under the house, which should be the the um, most constant temperature of between 55 and 60 <clears throat> degrees. And then it has to sit for different variations of time, up to a year. It's working. I think it was worth the $8. Alright, Camille and I um, managed to get the Pinot grapes, the Pinot wine, into carboys today. And we racked the plum wine, the Niagara, the Niagara wine, back here. Here's part of the mess that gets left over. That's a carboy getting cleaned and a fermenter and my trash can. Oh, there's nothing left over there. The mess is fun. Okay, here we go. And here, and now it kind of looks the same. Labeled, moved, tidied. I still need to get a few more um, milk crates here with the towels, which is a really nice way to keep the carboys all safe and tidy. This is our... Um, this is as far as we got, obviously. Tomorrow we're going to finish up the rest of it, and then it all sits, and then we will have another little video when we go ahead and start bottling to um, show that process. Okay, bye-bye.